Hello everyone, uh, welcome to part 46 of Ecom series in Laravel 5.6 and uh, in this video uh, we are going to work on shopping cart once again and uh, we are going to uh, work on stock this time means product stock we are going to uh, work on like uh, last time we have updated the quantities uh, last time we have updated the quantity without checking the product stock but that is wrong thing but uh, we need to consider stock as well like we are maintaining stock of every product in product attributes table you can see by going in product attributes table that we are maintaining stock for every SKU means stock keeping unit we are maintaining stock for every unit okay so so that stock we need to check uh, while updating stock uh, uh from card we need to check that stock that is the major thing we need to do and but uh unfortunately we have not done so far but we uh, keep on updating this thing so uh now we need to like we are updating the stock for this product and uh i will open uh, this product from any panel and uh will show you that uh what why this issue will come and uh, we need to uh, we need to consider everything while making e-commerce website because some of my friends wants uh, to complete this e-commerce website as soon as possible but uh, without uh, without resolving these issues we can't continue we can't continue forward okay so we need to consider everything uh first uh to resolve all issues then uh then only we can move further because that all very necessary because if you don't have uh that limited stock available for the product then uh, if order get placed by the user then how you will deliver that product so stock is the main concern uh, we need to maintain the stock we need to allow the user if stock is actually available so i am going to open here the uh stock of the attributes of this product see 10 stock is available for this product and uh, and in uh, i'm going to remove this uh, for a while and we're going to add this one again and you will see that uh, for t-shirt you are going to see i'm going to add this t-shirt and here now stock is available this functionality we have done it is showing that in availability is in in stock and if i will do like this zero 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 okay i am going to update all the stock to zero of this product then the person can't add to add to cart so see the add to cart button has gone away and even if you will click on small medium and large and then it will again display out of stock so you can't add this product into cart that is fine same kind of thing we need to implement in shopping cart we want that user uh, we don't allow user to uh, to update the stock of that product that uh, attribute okay so that thing we need to go uh, we need to do for our shopping car the same kind of thing we need to do for our shopping car like uh, right now if i will give 10 stock uh, for every product once again then uh, or you can say two stock okay i'm going to give two stock for every product okay then here see here uh here i am going to add small uh, i'm going to refresh this page once again and see the add to cart button has come again and i am going to add this small small uh, size and going to add this uh, product in shopping cart now here now only two stock is available so what i'm going to do i'm going to update the stock here i'm going to update it to two two is available right now it is fine but now I am going to update it again. Now the error message must come because three stock is not available. There are only two stock is available for this small size. Only two stock is available. So the error message must come. But here it will add. Here it will update this stock to three. That is an issue. Because if someone going to buy this product with three stock, then how you can deliver this three stock? Because you have only two stock available. So it's a big issue, okay? So that issue we need to resolve on urgent basis. And for this thing, we need to update our functions that we have created so far. See, 
we are going to update this shopping cart side uh, means uh, we uh, uh, we are first we will do in a simple mode okay otherwise if i will do all those steps all those security steps all those uh, means uh, additional steps uh, earlier on then you guys can't able to uh, means understand these simple steps as well so we will go step by step and we are going to update our functions and right now we are doing this basic level and but later on uh, like i always said that we are going to update this ecom series all the time but uh, yeah later on we can do this series with ajax as well and ajax angular js means many things we can implement in this series so this series will never going to be and means uh, there is always scope of update so means uh, we will keep updating and uh, you need to be if you uh, forget something then you need to uh, clear the things again you need to go back to the earlier videos and study that and learn that how the things are moving otherwise you can't able to grasp from this video okay so uh, in the last video i have shown you that how we update quantity of the card items in a simple way now we are going to make some changes okay so uh, now um, also uh, see our uh, card items that we are adding uh, so far uh, what we have done see so far we have added the product code itself but this is wrong this product code is wrong this product code we have added of the main product we have not added that we need to add this product attribute actually see we have done sku we have uh, added the sku for all products all the time see sku we are using so this sku we will we are going to add in this products in car table in car table uh, in uh, in place of this product code that is the main product code that comes in the products table but we need to add this sku so that we can get the particular size particular price particular stock from this sku so this sku we are going to save in our car table that is the temporary table that we uh, we uh, using for our shopping cart so uh, this sku first we will update in place of product code we are going to save our sku uh, and one thing more and yeah small yes size is fine size is fine so price is also fine and quantity is also fine so uh, so that uh, uh, that sku uh, the user will get that sku and uh, it is good for us so that from that sku we able to know that which uh, which product which particular uh, attribute of product the user wants so so that we will do and and while updating the uh, quantity we are going to check with this sku that the uh, that the stock is available or not like in case of uh, uh, this one this product like gts01 in case of gts001 uh, small small in case of gts001 small only two stock is available so we are going to compare these two stock with the uh, with this stock that we have added the last entry see with this quantity and if this quantity means uh, does not match like this is wrong three quantity it has been added because we have not added any kind of check so it added three that is wrong we will stop this and maximum quantity will be two as it is given here two so maximum quantity will be two and we are going to pair this with sku and this sku we are going to update in this uh, uh, in this card table here so that we can get easily from the sku we can get easily stock we can get from the product attributes table okay so after that after resolving this one and we will also do total this time we are going to remove unwanted fields and we are going to show total as well and see these things we will do in our 46 video of ecom series so in part 46 of ecom series uh, we uh, we will continue working on shopping cart process and and this time 
we will check stock of the product while updating in car and for that we will make some changes in add to car and update car quantity function and later on we will also show car total uh, and remove unwanted uh, data from shopping cart page okay so these things we will do in this video uh, these necessary things we will do okay so first of all we will start with updating update add to car function okay so first of all we are going to update this add to cart function and uh, uh, we are going to uh, get the sku and we'll store here okay so uh, for once i am going to uh, uh, first clear this cart table okay yeah now i can open this product this link we will provide in future that is not an issue so here uh, i'm going to refresh and i'm going to open product controller file and we open add to cart function okay so here uh okay we will do first we will update add to cart function uh to add product sku uh, in cart table instead of product code code okay like i have explained you that sku is better so that we can check the stock okay so we are going to update the query okay so i'm going to see here here i am going to add another query so i want to get sku and i can get the sku from product id and size okay so i am going to get the sku we can write like this get sku here in as condition where we are inserting a uh, card item and there we can simply make uh, one variable and write the query like this we just required sku so we can simply give sku here okay so we need to check once yeah uh, once again i will open product attribute table and we'll make sure that sku i have given in small yeah sku is in small so that's not an issue so uh, i'm going to get sku only in this case and here i'm going to uh, check with product id that if that product id matches okay and we'll take this product id okay like we are getting uh, and along with position put this product id i'm going to check with site as well okay like this site and here i will get this site uh, that we are getting here in this we are getting this site here uh, by exploding so i will get this site here like this and after getting this site i will just use first okay and here i get the sku so uh, while adding the sku i am just going to do this and here i just need to copy this get sku and i am going to update here okay get sku with the sku like this okay 
okay so that we can get the fu and update here so and so this thing i am go now going to check i am going now going to add the product uh, some product and we'll see that uh, fu must be entered here here in cart table so i am going to see here so i'm going to search i'm going to select small i'm going to add and see here yeah, it has been added now i'm going to see that uh, what it is coming in product code uh, see fq has come gt s001 hyphen s so this time fq has come that is uh, we have uh, stored in our product attributes table see fq is there in product fq table gt s001 hyphen s gts 001 hyphen s now we can easily get the stock of this uh, product attribute and can compare in uh, car table while updating the quantity so uh, this thing we have updated now we are able to get the product fku okay so this thing we have done uh, for our add to cart function we have updated this function to to uh, store the fku okay so uh now uh in second uh, thing that we will do we are going to update uh that update card quantity function now okay update card quantity now we will update this update card quantity function and uh this one uh, we will update to check that whether stock is available or not okay uh, now we will uh, update update quantity function to check whether stock uh, stock updater by user in card is available or not and we are going to uh, check with uh, and we are going to check with sku we check with sku uh, of that product uh, and uh, we that product to get this store from product attributes table and compare it with the stock the one by the user okay this thing we are going to do in update card quantity function we are going to compare uh, the uh, stock demanded by the user with the stock actually present in the product attribute table okay so uh, for this thing we have updated here SPU so that it will be easier for us okay so uh, I am going to update now uh, update card quantity uh, table here okay this one I am going to update okay so first of all I will get the card details from the card ID okay so here I can write like this get card details okay this one I will get uh, from the uh, card table i can get the complete card details or can select also particular things that i want okay so i can get this display details uh, uh, from the card id itself that we are sending uh, while updating the quantity and this one we can do like this and uh, very simple and see here now the card details we have got with this query and now we can get the uh, we can uh, from from sku from sku we can uh, get the product stock okay so uh, now uh, i will get uh, the sku uh, stock okay so uh, i can see that get sku get sku stock okay so I will get that uh, means, or we can uh, 
the give here that attribute stock okay so that we can get the stock of that particular attribute okay so here what i am going to do here i am going to get the stock from products attribute table that i want to compare and we are uh, we are sku i'm going to compare this time sku uh, is uh, i get from this car details table i will easily get this sku from the car details table that we have written there as product code okay so we can get like this and here we will again this first okay, like this now uh, one stock is coming from the user and one stock uh, is the stock that is coming from the product attribute table so here uh, uh, from the table this stock we are getting we are going to check that which stock we are getting from the table so i am going to uh, do like this stock okay this is the one stock that we are getting from the product attribute table and uh, and another stock you have seen that what kind of functionality we have done in this uh, cart uh, car shopping cart and we have increment the quantity by one every time so every time it will be by plus one and we decrement then uh, if we will send minus one in quantity variable then uh, means uh, there we will do then it will come as minus one it will either come as plus one or minus one so we are going to make it plus or minus one here okay so that will be really easy so our updated quantity will be will look like this updated quantity that user want user want this updated quantity it will look that, like this so get car details okay and the quantity that is available in the car right now plus plus the quantity that is sent by the user okay whether it is plus one or minus one okay it depends but it is the quantity that demanded by the user so we are going to press it die here and i'm going to show you that what quantity the user want and what is available okay so this thing i have done here now you will see that what will happen and now the current quantity is available is uh, uh, i am checking here the quantity available is only one okay and uh, now uh here uh here is also still one so i am going to increment this quantity by two and then we'll see that uh two is the quantity demanded by the user and one is available okay so let's see so it is coming as two and two there as well i'm going to see whether okay okay so fine 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 actually see two is demanded by the user uh, and currently it is in card it is one and two is actually there so means it is fine so means two is available uh, for this stock so we can and two is demanded so uh, so we can allow okay and in case of three the issue will come and uh, then we will send the user to the error message we will show the error message that quantity is not available okay so so this is fine we are going to compare like this okay we are going to compare uh, this quantity with the uh, with the stock of the product attribute uh, and, and then we'll allow the user to update the uh, update the car okay so what we are going to do uh, see here i am going to uh, see this one and i am going to compare this if uh, get god it is okay. so here we are going to get get attribute stock okay get attribute stock stop this is the quantity that is coming from the 
user yeah this is the quantity get attributes of uh, get attributes of uh, oh, sorry, sorry this is the quantity that, that is coming uh, from the table okay so this we are going to uh, it must be greater than or equal to uh, that is updated quantity that demanded by the user yeah now it is fine see this is the uh, quantity that is coming from product attribute table okay and this must be means the quantity must be equal to or less than the demanded quantity of the user very clear it must be very clear to you uh, because if if we have if we don't have that much quantity or if we have less quantity then the error message must be displayed to the user otherwise if that much quantity is available to us or if less quantity is available to us then uh, we can update the quantity in car table as well okay for this we are writing this condition this get attribute stock uh, object stock uh, is the quantity that we are getting from the product attribute so it must be greater than or equal to the quantity that the user want to update in car so so this is the condition that we have enter and this is right okay all these things look easy when you will carefully uh, understand carefully try to understand and uh, grab the logic and otherwise things seems to be bit diff difficult okay so so this is the thing uh, that you want and here now this one this one uh, if that is right so we are going to add this one under this if condition okay like this okay yeah now if that quantity is available then we are going to add this quantity in in car table otherwise otherwise else in else message we will return the user with the error message okay to back to shopping cart page here the error message will come and here uh, we will show uh, some kind of error message like a product quantity is not available okay very simple required you know we can write like this uh, required product quantity is not available like this okay so this one we can move now not required and now we can try now we can try to see that what will happen and now i'm going to update the first the two quantities the two quantities available then that must be update now see now we are going to see what will happen see here yeah two quantity has been updated now the error message will come if the quantity we are going to update three because three is not going to update okay so other earlier on three was updating because uh, we are not doing this check we have not done this check now we have done this check we have added this check now the error message will come and this is very crucial step this is very crucial step for every website even for amazon even for flipkart even for uh, any alibaba means any any site any site in the world it is very crucial that you have the available quantity if you are not going to do this check then there is no purpose of making e-commerce website so this is very essential you and you have to do all these steps I means you just uh, can't run you just can't leave uh, these steps uh, while making the e-commerce website otherwise uh, there is no use there is no use at all and and we have to take care of it and we have to take care of all other essential steps later on we need to update all these functions okay let's update this one and i'm going to update this one and we'll see see here the error message has come required product quantity is not available and that thing we want okay so so that is perfect just the thing is that uh, this, this message is not coming in red or something uh, that we can solve but the main purpose has been solved the main purpose is that while adding while updating the quantity we must check that quantity to our products attribute table where we are maintaining that quantity of that uh, product okay 
so we are going to check every time like this and uh, for this thing i will update the car table so now you have seen that how we have updated the update quantity function uh, so that it will check uh, while adding the product in card and now uh, first step i'm going to make some uh, changes in card table now i will also show the card total as well uh, and we'll going to add this uh, means uh, going to add some kind of background update card dot blade dot php file now okay now update uh, card blade file uh, to show the background and uh, we have a message is coming to uh, behind error message uh, and uh, we will uh, show uh, total uh, grand total we show yeah total car total we will show because car total uh, as well and we'll remove these fields for now we remove car subtotal eco text okay all this remove unwanted data okay so right now we are moving this but later on while doing coupon code functionality we will also make some updates here but now we are updating going to update this part okay so but the, this is not the final total the final total will come later on in order we page where we will do shipping extra we will do there okay right now uh, we just need to update this one okay so uh now uh, some kind of background i will give in this space in card bit file and see here the error message we have given but sometimes if it does not come we can show some other message a lot error is not coming and that is only one if i will do a lot so that it is coming here or not i'm just want to see what will happen that if i will give a lot to that here of course i'm not sure that uh, now we uh, some you know we are green is coming but that error is not working here uh, i will check uh, what is available alert alert uh, uh, i will put this alert alert success okay alert success i'm going to check this one and whatever is available would strike alert might be some other alert will work uh, cause i don't have that much uh, we can uh, take alert danger okay alert danger can work i think we can see this one alert danger and we can try the alert danger as well and while updating uh, yeah now it is working fire required plus quantity is not available that is why perfect and a lot of warning we can also give okay a lot of warning is also looks fine and then the uh, then the attention of the question uh, yeah and in this one we can also give and a lot of warning warning this is a kind of warning as well and we can give this as well and i will see that whether warning is coming or not i have also not used much of the bootstrap jquery used but not that much but we have to use all these kind of things and see it is also coming fine watching and we can give like this required plus quantity is not available and we will see that uh, what we have given there in uh, our yeah, from here we are going to add uh, okay so uh, that we can add one more like this and uh yeah no she got has been added so yeah so yeah yeah but has been added especially one more if we will add yeah but quantity is not available i think that one is looking fine okay because uh, that one is more uh looking uh, like the error yeah that is fine okay so uh now this everything is working fine and now we will also show the total here and for showing the total we will do something here okay uh 
we are going to add one variable okay so we are going to add one variable for total like total amount okay here we will add total amount like this and in this total amount uh, we are going to initialize this with zero first okay so uh, now uh, at the end of for it we will we are going to calculate this total amount again we are going to add the total amount plus and the thing that we are doing here uh, okay that so that we can add the amount of every product by uh, by multiplying its price with quantity okay simple if there are two quantity then we are going to update it by multiplying its quantity with uh, the product code with the price with the price of that uh, that product so this one we can do like this and um, so that our total amount will come accurate so this total amount we can use uh, here uh, at the bottom here we are take, taken INR so we can do like this and here we can show it like this okay so yeah like this we can show and this unwanted fields we can remove because we don't require here and uh, this one we will see later on and see total amount we have given and I'm going to refresh this card now we will see the total amount is 2000 plus 3000 it is coming as 500 so it is perfect and if I reduce it by 1 see 1000 come, 300 come, 4000 and 4000 is perfect so I will reduce this one by 1 and see 1000 plus 1500 so 2500 is correct so now we have done these two things and uh, now we check the stock of every attribute and then update uh, otherwise show error message and we have also shown the total of the card yes, we are going in a perfect way without any issues so now i am little bit satisfied uh, with it because otherwise if we will leave this video we then uh, issue comes in future so we need to take these kind of things uh, uh, right uh, in the video means at the right time we need to do the right things so uh, that's all for now in the next video we will do more uh, about shopping card process we will also do coupon code functionality so stay tuned for the next video and thanks for watching and uh, if you uh, really like uh, this video and uh, uh, if you want to get the code, then you can get the code from my uh, GitHub text well first, uh, where we, I have entered some of the code. I am working hard on it, and and you can click on and let it, you know, make an internal in that over 5.6, and from here you can get the code up till uh, up till uh, part nine, up till part nine of the com series, and uh there is small amount the effort i am making is, uh, you know the how expensive these things are resources and all the efforts and if you will make uh, the small payment uh, of getting i will i'm going to give you complete source code up till part 44 and going to give you all future updates as well uh, but the small payment you if you can make then it will uh, make uh, really good for me and uh, will help me uh, but even if you will not make payment I will try my best to give you uh, and you can contact me as well in my Facebook ID on EG100 and uh, uh, and if you will make then it will sound really good for me you, you will buy a cup of coffee for me every month that is, that is enough for me and and it will help me to work more and more and better and better for you guys and will give you will deliver you whatever i have so that in future you will get complete benefit of it and that all depends upon you and uh, so okay uh, we will continue further uh, in next video and uh, we'll do more and 
So that's all for now and thanks for watching. Goodbye.